Oh, do you have the stamina, the strength, the agility and fitness? If so, you could be a contender on the return series of The Gladiator. Auditions are being held all around the country, so we thought we'd check out the competition. We're joined by reporter Trent Evans live from the auditions. Good morning to you, Trent. Good now, what's morning, the guys. turnout like? <laughs> it's pretty amazing. There's about a thousand people here, want to be gladiators and contenders. Everyone ranging from children to, well, not children, but t uh, teenagers to grandmas. Uh, and some pretty strong people and some pretty weedy people too. Have a look at the line, it goes down, all the way down past the sports centre here. But the majority of people here are obviously here to flex their muscles. Boys, can we show a few muscles here? Give, that's the way, look at that. Yeah. Okay, he's got the job, Trent, that one there in the blue yeah, singlet. Yeah, he's got the job. He's in. Excellent. <laughs> tell, him, tell him he's, uh, he's in. Uh, now, Trent, you, you say there's a couple of weedy guys there. Why do they bother turning up? I mean, it looks like a couple of gladiators there. They look like there might be some people turning up for a craft show. What's going on? Oh, well, I'm not really sure. Or maybe they're just here to, I guess, uh, be annihilated because I reckon they're going to be because we've got people like uh, Jason here. Jason's a father of two, but he's also a former NRL player. Why are you uh, taking part today? Uh, I... I, the last time uh, I actually played with one of the, the gladiators uh, when I was playing at the Rabbitohs, uh, Sparkles, who was Hammer, and uh, I, uh, I like I like to dress up in lycra, so I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> it's like break things as well. It's all about the lycra. <laughs> <laughs> we got another we got another uh, person here. This is Phil. Phil actually tried out last time, 12 years ago, for the last series. Got down to the last 20, um, so almost got there. He's hoping to uh, get past the post today. What happened last time? I actually got down to last 20 guys and um, a bit distressing with a young fella, a little midget, and you had to hold our legs. Actually, we're, all the guys, 10 guys stand behind 10 guys and hold the legs up and they do about 10 push ups. So I, I would keep them going to get tired. The little guy couldn't hold my legs properly and leaned to one side and, and unfortunately dropped me to one side and done my shoulder in so I couldn't continue. And uh, I thought, well, give one more crack, a lot older, a lot wiser. And if this doesn't work out, maybe Kylie over there probably. Uh, might, things might work out between me and Kylie, I don't know. Kylie's got a little treat for you. What do you reckon of this? Okay, I'm Kyle, liking it so this far. Work out today. You liking it so Could far? Can I take you out for lunch, Kyle? <laughs> yeah, um, that's a yes. <laughs> um, I, 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 just, I just admire... I've got you. I just figure after 12 years, you've still got it, Trent. That's pretty... Uh, after admirable. 12 years, you've still got it, Kylie, I reckon. Yeah. 12 years, I'm 40 years old. Still looking good, and this time they're not getting away from me this time. Hey, this time. <laughs> hey, Trent, Trent, I've got yep. to ask you before we go. Do they get yep. to choose their own names? Because I reckon the guys that take on the names of white goods have got lesser chance. Like, so when you get Vulcan uh, and Dishlex up against Storm and Thunderbolt, I reckon that changes things. You reckon it's all about the name, do you? I reckon. Who's that? Well, this is Lauren, actually. Lauren's one of the girls. It's not just about blokes. So she's got a very special trick up your sleeve, haven't you? What, what is yeah, that? I could do a backflip for you. You can do a backflip? Is that what you're going to do for the judges? Oh, of course. Take it away. Show us what you're going to do. All right, she's in too. <laughs> she's you're in. Sorted. You're in. We're done. We've got, we got our three gladiators. <laughs> yeah, I think we need a gladiator segment on the morning show. Sounds good. Yeah, so Kylie's had a great morning. Uh, thank you, uh, Trent, for giving Kylie an up close and personal look at the gladiator auditions. No worries. Thanks, Trent. So, uh, you should audition. Looks good. I remember it. Do you remember it from when it was first on? Yes. Yeah. I remember wishing that I was one of them. With one of the guys. Yeah. Uh, still, still to come. come, Bobby Flynn's in to perform a James Brown hit and we'll find out if it's ever okay for a bloke to carry a man bag. We won't cross back to the gladiators and no, ask them for that one though. No. Uh, Ann Sanders is with us uh, next for the, all the latest news, including a rather unusual escape from Melbourne Zoo. You're watching the 70s edition of The Morning Show right across Australia. <laughs> Screaming in your neighborhood. Don't worry. It's just people screaming.